Um, I think it's really neat, and I think the idea behind it with empowering young women and having them work on it is really fantastic. And it's a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. She's really tall and, and big, and I think she creates a big presence here in the center. And when people walk in, they want to know about her, and they want to know what was behind her and how she was created. So people stop and take the time to kind of bend down and read what's going on. Okay. The the way she's like formed um, shows that not one person is perfect. I thought they were gonna dress her like with real clothes. Yeah, I want. I thought she should wear like a shirt and some jeans or something. You when you build a sculpture, you don't want them to be looking at the face. You want them to be looking at the structure of her body or his or, or his body. And when you build a sculpture, the face isn't important. I think it's really awesome. I like the size. I like the, you know, the, the person is kind of a, you can't really tell who it is or what kind of a person. I mean, you can tell she's female, but age and all that is kind of hard to tell, so you can identify with, with who it is. Well, I love how she's made out of a mud and straw. And she just looks like, a powerful, strong woman. I think she's a mom. I don't know. I think she's a, um, someone who gets her way. Uh, it's very organic. Um, and she's obviously large, um, rather buxom, and I think that's neat considering in our culture. Um, thinness and almost anorexic look is what's supposed to be in, even though that's very unhealthy. She's a very nice woman, though. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think so. I think we need a lot of beautiful things in the world, and if taxpayer money is going toward that, I think that's good.